Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, the father of our nation. An epitome of non-violence and patriotism led the nation and secured independence for India. He was born to Karamchand Gandhi and Putli Bai Gandhi on 2nd October 1869. Later, at the age of 13, he married Kasturba Gandhi. After his schooling, he went to England to study law at the age of 18. Before he left for England, he promised his mother three things. He would not touch non-witch, he would not look at any woman with lust and he would not touch alcohol. In 1893, he left for South Africa to argue a case. On the way in the train, he was thrown out and insulted for daring to travel as a co-passenger of a white man. This is considered as one of the incidents which changed Gandhiji's life as that was when he decided to protest against the oppressions and the unjust laws. When he was in South Africa, he fought against injustice and class divisions. Gandhiji organized a satyagraha to oppose the unjust law by burning the certificates which was mandatory for the so-called smuts to carry it everywhere they go. After his return to India in 1915, he studied the Indian environment for a year and decided to jump into the freedom struggle. Champaran movement in Bihar was the first satyagraha led by Gandhiji. The government was compelled to look into the matter of injustice meted out to the poor indigo planters. The passing of the Rowlett Act in 1919 was for the arbitrary arrest and imprisonment of the nationalists. Gandhiji launched the anti rowlett Satyagraha on a mass scale. On 13th April 1919, a large crowd gathered in the enclosed ground of Jallianwala Park. General Dyer blocked the escape route and ordered indiscriminate shooting. Hundreds of people were trapped and killed. The whole nation was in shock. Later, the Khilafat movement, which began in 1919, brought the Muslims and the Hindus on a common platform against the British rule. It was the most important cause of the non-cooperation movement. Together with the Ali brothers, Gandhiji started the NCM by boycotting the British goods and encouraging the use of homespun clothes. When violence broke out in Chauri Chaura, Gandhiji suspended the NCM and he was arrested. Later, Gandhiji started civil disobedience movement which was followed by Dandi March. This was to break the unjust law that refrained the people from making salt. By the salt march, Gandhiji wanted people to know that there were many poor people who could not afford to buy even a single pinch of salt. Because of this movement, Gandhiji was again arrested by British. During his imprisonment, Sarojini Naidu and Abbas Tiabji led the Satyagraha. To make matters worse, the British brought out the communal award, whereby the untouchables would be given separate treatment from the higher caste Hindus. Dr. Ambedkar, though initially believed that political consensus would yield better results for the untouchables, but later came around to accept Gandhiji's views. Gandhiji went on a fast unto death against the communal award. Ultimately, Gandhiji's fast led to the provisions of a joint electorate for all the Hindus with a reservation of seats for depressed class. Gandhiji named the untouchables as Harijans, the people of God. In 1942, when the Japan threatened to attack India, Gandhiji called for the nationwide satyagraha. He asked the British to quit India and called out to the people to do or die. This united the Indians. But Muhammad Ali Jinnah wanted a separate state for Muslims. India became independent on 15th August 1947. While the entire nation was enjoying its newfound freedom, the man most responsible for it, Mahatma Gandhi, was away in Calcutta, converting the victims of the Hindu-Muslim clashes. On 30th Jan 1948, Gandhiji was shot dead while he was on his way for evening prayers in Delhi. Gandhiji lived and died for the country. Just like his words, my life is my message. Let us all learn from his life to be a better human being. Truth is never illustrated through the use of violence. This is one of the guiding principles that sits at the core of the illuminated thinking by the great soul, the Mahatma.